it's a pleasure for me to be in that uh, exciting meeting and uh, to share my experience in uh, in pediatrics. And um, I just to make the uh, conventional comment on the, and I to acknowledge for the um, the materials lent by Mackay and Norvan Company, and I thank them for their support. Um, just a very quick wor word on the bronchiolitis for those who are not familiar with pediatric uh, population, but you probably all know that bronchiolitis is the um, by far most uh, frequent pediatric respiratory disease uh, with the large epidemics in every winter. And uh, every year, uh, more than 10% of all infants below one year of uh, age present some sign of uh, bronchiolitis, resulting in a very high rate of hospitalization. And uh, in 10 to 15 percent uh, of the admitted patients are finally uh, admitted in PQ. So it's a huge number of patients uh, every year in or ICU. But it's important to note that there has been a major revolution in the last decade, um, thanks to the uh, appearance of the non-invasive ventilation. And uh, in fact, this is typically a, a technique that has been uh, 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 implemented in our ICU without any level of evidence at the beginning, except for physiological, rational. And, um, but it works so well that nobody would uh, come back now. And these are figures from uh, uh, Sandrine Essouri in Kremlin Bisset Hospital in Paris, uh, who showed nicely that in the last decade, uh, the uh, implementation of CPAP has increased a lot, uh, and more than uh, almost one, all the patients have a trial of, of CPAP before uh, at the arrival in the PQ. And uh, uh, in parallel, you can see that the CPAP failure has decreased a lot. So uh, this is this has resulted in also a shorter period of ventilation and a shorter period of ICU. And Looking at this failure, uh, these figures, uh, we can wonder if NAVA could really improve these patients. But it's important to remember that the uh, CPAP failure uh, remains uh, relatively frequent, more than uh, in, in all center at least, as compared to the Kremlin Bisset Center. And uh, that intubated patients are not doing so well. They are uh, on mechanical ventilation f uh, frequently for a few days uh, and even sometimes for weeks. And uh, the mortality is not so low in a such a frequent disease. So we have to improve the evolution of this patient now. And how NAVA could help this patient? First, we have discussed a lot on synchrony, but it's important to note that uh, and to reinforce the notion that asynchrony is really frequent in our patients. And um, the, the study has been done in our unit by Jennifer Beck a few years ago now, but she nicely so, showed that uh, when comparing the neural uh, timings and the ventilator timings, uh, only counting the delays uh, in cycling of an, uh, trigger delays, uh, and without taking in, into account the wasted effort on the auto-triggered breath, but only with the timing, we have uh, demonstrated that the patients were uh, spending more than, than half of the time in asynchrony. So it's very, very uh, frequent in our unit, and uh, it's, it was a few years ago, but this, this girl was uh, recorded uh, just last week, and um, you can see that the synchrony has not improved in the conventional ventilation. This may not be so obvious when you look at the patient, and, uh, but when you look in details, you see that, in fact, the uh, ventilator is triggering at least uh, uh, half of the time uh, during the expiration period. And uh, as it has been shown yesterday, uh, NAVA improves synchrony in infants, and it's, uh, uh, it's clear now. Uh, we have confirmed that in a, uh, uh, a study in our uh, unit. 
which will be re reported by Alice Bordesoul. And um, you can see that in 10 infants, we were ventilated for five, years, five hours in, in Nava. As compared to conventional ventilation, we were able to decrease the trigger delay by uh, a factor of two and uh, to uh, almost suppress the occurrence of wasted effort and the cycle of the breast were cycle of too early. Interestingly, the cycling of delays were not so different when you look at the average, uh, but it, in fact, it is due be, it, the consequence of a very wide distribution of the cycling of delay in conventional ventilation. And some of the cycles are cycle, a cycle of too late, some of the cycles are cycle of too early, and uh, in the distribution is wide, so the, the average is not so different, but you clearly, in NAVA, the cycling of is much better than in conventional mode. And we also show some Im improvement in variability in terms of pressure. Of course, it's inherent to the technology and the clear uh, correlation between the, the, the pressure and the uh, activity, which is also inherent to the, the, the technology. Um, Dr. Clement from USA also showed an improvement in, in synchrony in infants with bronchiolitis uh, in a study in course of her design uh, for a shortened period, but uh, she, she reported almost the same results and with an improvement in trigger delay and uh, response time in the, of, the tr uh, of the well ventilator. And the important question is, <laughs> is uh, asynchrony really a problem? It has been discussed a lot yesterday. And uh, in fact, in pediatrics, we have not so much data on that. And that's why I'm presently con conducting a, st a study and, uh, to be able to get some data uh, on that uh, relation. So uh, we will record 60 patients in conventional ventilation. And uh, by measuring the airway pressure and the EADI, uh, we'll be able to evaluate the synchrony and to evaluate the re relation between asynchrony and the ventilatory duration. So I have only preliminary results. So I won't give you some data on the relation with our outcome, I'm sorry. But uh, just a few, a few words on the, the synchrony that I observed. Uh, you have seen this graph in uh, uh, Crystal's presentation yesterday, and uh, you can see that uh, the patients were still very, uh, presented a very high level of, of a synchrony. And <coughs> In the median, uh, the average of, uh, of the data showed that uh, more than 60% of the breath of the breath are, uh, were outside of the range of the 33%, which means either they have uh, more than 53% of uh, 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 retardation in the trigger or the cyclic of uh, uh, delay. And this, this included 15% of auto triggering, 16% of wasted effort. So it's important. And interestingly, uh, the lower the peak EADI, the higher the asynchrony index. But I, I will speak about that uh, in my second talk this afternoon. What does NAVA on ventilatory pressure and volume in infants? It's not so evident in the stable patient that we have uh, reported in our study or uh, in the Clement study. But um, I think the most important uh, evidence comes from very small study, but very interesting case reports that have been reported by Jean-Michel Lillet. And these are patients that we have also uh, uh, seen in, in, in all units. Uh, you, uh, Jean-Michel Lier uh, reported three cases of bronchiolitis who were transferred to the unit because they were very, very sick and they were wondering if they uh, will uh, uh, put them on ECMO because they, they were really difficult to ventilate patients with very high pressure with uh, bad blood gases. And you can see that before uh, increasing the sedation or paralyzing the, the patients or putting them on HFO, they finally tried uh, a, a period of NAVA. And what you can obs observe in the three cases, only two are represented here, but the third is the same, is the pressure which was higher than 30 drops immediately in NAVA to around 10, 15. And the, the, the second patient is the same and the third is the same. 
So this is not control, but this is not uh, natural evolution of this patient. Of course, NAVA has done something. Uh, I, I don't know if it's only the synchrony, but I think it's rather uh, good evidence that probably in that patient we should try NAVA. And I think that the, probably we are less injurious with such a ventilation that in, in that condition. Uh, NAVA probably also uh, have a good impact on comfort. We have the experience from uh, pediatric, uh, in the pediatric field reported yesterday. And uh, a recent study from Spain also uh, confirmed that uh, comfort score was lower, lower during a short-term period of NAVA in infants, uh, including four bronchiolitis, but it, this was a small number of patients. And we will have to confirm that data. And in uh, non-invasive condition, um, there are few data to, to date, but uh, uh, probably non-invasive NAVA could improve the ventilatory efficiency of NIV. An observational study has been conducted in France on last winter in Lyon and Bordeaux, and, Bordeaux. and uh, Julie Guichou reported recently that they have recorded 18 patients with a rather good level of success, and they had the feelings that some patient would have failed in a CPAP and that they, were, they, were, they, they did better with NAVA, but this was 